I think it almost reminds me of that liquid sand in a weird sort of way. Not Even though there's no you actual can, like, liquid with liquid expanding. sand. But just the way it like sits on the top. Does it, it remind anyone else kind of that liquid sand? Yeah, concept? kind of. Oh, wow. Whoa, I just got my hand under. I'm, it's basically Completely just water. In, yeah, and I yeah. can feel like a huge like mound of the peat moss above. Try not to get it up in the air like that, Luke. You, when you pulled your hand through, you made a lot of it go up in the air. Shoot. Try and like push it down. It's so funny. Yeah. How weird it is. But it's what makes it so good for the soil. Like, if it ever dries out, it's really bad. Because it's hard to get it wet again. But it will not, the w same way it doesn't take it in, it doesn't want to give it up either. Mm -hmm. I think we need more water. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Coming. Are you going to help us with this bag? Whoa, look at that. Look how much we just put. And look, boom. It's, it's dry. dry. <laughs> it's weird. It's so weird. It's yeah, it looks like there. it's like a big puddle and soaking in, and then you're like, uh, where did it all go? There's a lot of water at the bottom. If it yeah, it's dirty. Right, because it just won't go into it. It's so bizarre. I can see the dust. Do it until you think it's about a third. Well, it's about, I mean, it's about a right. Okay, that's right. probably good. You think? Yeah. And I'm just doing a light bit to keep that dust down, okay? You don't want everything soaked or it's just going to get heavier and heavier. We soak it as we put it in. Okay? Does that make sense? It seems pretty solid. Right, so now we want a little bit of each of the compost. Okay. Hold that, Luke. Hold this. Sorry, I didn't take it there. Hand me another bag. We can do bigger batches in the future. But this will just show you what I'm thinking. There's two. That one's lumpy. I did pretty well. One third, one third, one third. Oh, yeah, yeah it's really so you small want, like, bag. about as much as, as, right? as compost as, like, a So bee. then, what you're gonna do is grab corners and just walk it in on itself. Hold it over. Wait, let it, let it come over here first before you look at this side. Okay, okay, and then come back this way. You grab the corner and just walk it in. I can't. I don't know what we're doing. There's no method to the madness. Whoa, that's so heavy. Okay, we're out here to show you just how crazy we are because we are we received our pack our potatoes earlier today and now we are planting them at 9:30 at night. Okay, so who's the crazy one here? All of us. Me. Mm. <laughs> who's the one who told us we had to do this tonight? Me. Uh, I think him. No, it was me. I'm the one who pushed. You. My Luke, guy was Luke, he is your father. <laughs> Potato. This one doesn't no have any really eyes coming out very well. This is kind well, of Well, it's a potato. So that'll go up. They say I'm supposed to be about four inches deep. Um, I don't know if that's four inches. Where's the mirror? Oh my gosh, you're horrible. <laughs> I can't see the four inch mark. Four inch. Oh, I did pretty well. Oh, yeah, that is pretty good. Look at that. Potato! This is why I'm in charge of eyeballing it. Yeah, I don't think it's planted. It's kind of 
they're red, they're white, they're brown. They get that way Please underground. <laughs> there can't be much Cassie. to do. Stop. So now they have blue okay, ones too. Stop. Oh, potato, potato, potato. Stop. potato. Stop. No, I'm not. It's Cassie, a song stop. about potatoes. Wait. Potatoes are going in. Potato! Okay, so Wait. one thing that we <laughs> should mention about, about the potatoes dimensions. here is it's that really bad, though. Give me one. most sources suggest that you plant one potato oh, oh per God. square foot. I Put the, believe as many eyes up as possible. And what's the source yeah. that we're going by? What do you mean? Square foot gardening method? No, is that the one potato per square? Uh, no, it square says foot gardening you can is four per get square. Four in. Oh, okay. That one's like really. Mm, I know. So some sources say you can get four in, and many sources say you can only have one. So we have there, nine potatoes. Do we have nine potatoes? Or ten. ten. So what are we doing with the tenth potato? Planting it in the ground. Okay, so oh, we are experimenting. We are putting two squares. We are planting four potatoes in each of those squares. Oh, that was so one amazing. of our squares, we're planting one potato in that one square. Ow. I'm guessing that's the middle one there. Yep. And then like... one lonely potato will be planted in the ground. Cassie, you mentioned the ground. Yeah, what it looks like, which well, is I don't think we're mulch. planting it up here, but you which can't. Which is like mulch. Just stuff this in the middle. And we will see... Which method does the best? Where's the ruler? I need just to get four inches. Oh my gosh, you don't get the ruler. <laughs> Eyeball it. I can't, I don't Let know. Your why. Eyeball it, go. Dakota. <laughs> you want to eventually put, do mounds. Like Boys, mounds. you know why you can't tell secrets on a farm, right? Because then they people will steal them and steal them. have anger. eyes. And the corn has ears. <laughs> and the beans stalk. That they do. Well, and the beans, no, they talk. They don't stalk. Well, actually, oh, they stalk me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, I need someone with delicate hands. Em, can you, oh, we lost it. What? Why did we lose? Uh -oh. He lost the eye. You he's, lost the eye? Like stuck through the mesh. <laughs> we still got one on here. You should so have this is our, me. oh, two of them. All right. Where are you planting our random potato in the ground? Uh, I don't know, but we need a marker for this it. This should have been marked off, because we can't tell where anything is. Yeah, we can. No, Three. we can't. It's halfway. Right here, there. One I just... Third, one third. Here. That's not how that works. You never know. It might work. No, it doesn't, Mom. Um, not how that works. Don't pat it down, but you just want it loosely covered, okay? So it can maybe All escape right. the Enough. surface? Enough. So where are we planting this random one? <laughs> Are you literally just going to plant it in the ground? We're going to plant it in the ground. What else are we do? You can't keep this right for a year. Here. Until next year. Right here. No, we're not doing it right there. Why not? Right there? We're going to plant it in the path? Wait, no. What? You're doing it not in the path. Oh, actually, we can do it here. Wait, you're doing it out of the bench? I thought where the bench is going to go. Oh, right. true. We don't have a bench yet. I, like, I need a heavy dude to suck the shovel to get in no, this. No, we can't plant it. There's you no soil. It's just mulch, Dad. Yeah, it's not going to work. No, I'm going under the mulch. I'm digging the but then it's going to die because it's going to be more than four inches. But that's going to be more than four inches. What? No, it won't. Four inches under the soil. And then hmm. let it try and come what? up through the soil and Why the wood chips? No, you won't put all the mulch in. That You did not get the shovel. That was not as right. Luke, go get the, the long, thin shovel. Luke, go grab some of our good dirt from over in the second box. Okay, okay. here's our random potato that we are planted here because we had an extra. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Good luck, potato. It's just in the normal dirt with the wood chips. I feel like we should name them. And name you the wood spud. chips we won't put around until the plant comes up. Yep. We'll just put about... So we're just going to leave it there. This is the soil mix. This isn't the yard, this is the garden. So you don't have to feel bad about the giant hole in the garden. Okay, it's been a garden for <laughs> all of four days, so... A lot more. You should probably use a shovel. Hey, you're a bully. You're a big bully. And this is where our benches are eventually going to go. Maybe. So. Dad, this is an annual, right? Yes. So, yeah. Don't know when mm -hmm. we're getting benches, so we're putting an annual here. So. This is Daddy's secret way of making sure that I don't go out and buy a bench this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
now now I feel challenged to find a bench that I can put here that won't interfere with the potato. That, that is a good show my cool um, Oh yeah, our wisteria have these really fun soft, soft fuzzy seed pods. Cool. They're also like spiky on the end. All right, and we're done. There we go. That's our first plant for the garden. Yay. Thanks Woo! for watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now I'm planting some watermelon, which may, we're not, there's a good chance it'll come up. We're not sure. It's 90 days to harvest. So we have, um, we have July, August, September, hoping it'll, hope, and it'll, I think, we think it'll come, we'll be able to harvest it, get some fruit out of it. So I have these two holes done right here. Got some of our nice soil on top of it to help it grow. And so what I'm doing is have this tool right here, which is really helpful for moving wood chips. Right now we have a whole bunch of wood chips. So it's kind of hard to plant in the ground. Eventually, once it breaks down, the wood chips won't be so high, and we'll be and we'll be able to plant by the surface, which will be easier and healthier for the plants. So what I do is I just bring up wood chips. This tool is really helpful for getting wood chips. Now I'm going to grab the shovel right here, and I'm going to get into the stool. <laughs> okay. There we go, that's probably good enough. Now, I'm gonna come over here and grab some soil. And I'll grab it. We haven't planted anything in these squares yet, so I'm gonna borrow some soil from here. This is some nice soil with some great compost mixed in with very good nutrients for the plants. So we're gonna bring it over here. Watermelon says to plant them about an inch. Here we go. We're planting three. These are about a year old, so you probably don't need to do three, but we're doing three because we're not sure how um, they'll do. Right there, we'll get some. Do a bit more because it's an inch. Not an inch. There we go, and that's our water. Now, the last thing we need to do is water them, and then we'll see how they do. They sprout. Sprout takes seven to ten days before they sprout. So not too long. We've got this nice attachment that's gonna be helpful in watering. Okay, go ahead Ty, what are you doing? You're 
planting some peas. How many do you put in each hole? Three. Three. And how old are you? Three. So it's easy to remember. Oh, now this one. Right here. One more. That one, right there. Good job. Good job, buddy. Can I do some, plant some more peas? Um, Not today. Now. That's all. I'm going to cover them up now. Cover them up. Okay. You want to cover that one? Loosely, really loose. Try not to lean on that soil back there, but There you go. Good job. I can see the dead grass. It's dying. It's yellow. Uh -huh. So what are you doing, Luke? Uh, so we planted peas over there to do the three sisters gardening method um but now we're gonna try and plant some up by this fence and see if that see if they'll survive <laughs> and climb the fence yeah this story is hard all right we just planted cucumbers our big seed order came today and we are currently racing the storm. Notice the sky. We had some lightning earlier. Broccoli. You can hear some thunder. We're currently planting purple broccoli and cauliflower, trying to get it in before the rain starts. Oh, yes, and there's some lightning. As you can see, we are racing the storm. Where we live, it's uh, this time of year, this is very typical. Yeah. Kind of reminds you of being uh -oh. in the tropics, our summers. Oh, and we've got rain, so we're getting that broccoli and that cauliflower in the ground. Can we can we get it in before the rain hits? That's the question. Uh -oh. oh, rain is coming. The rain is actually good. Having the sun and then the rain every day is actually very good for the plant growth. But And we did it.